My name is O'Shea Jackson Jr. and I'm here for my Playboy Q&A. While I was making Straight Outta Compton, it was cool to go back and reenact the stories that I've been hearing my whole life from my dad. He's always been very open with me because if he can't tell me the truth, then who can? So it was nice to go back into some of his old memories and seeing him reminisce on set was the coolest part about the movie. My five most played songs probably start with uh, the Shit remix, Lil Wayne on uh, Sorry For The Wait 2, Gangsta Gangsta by N.W.A., Maybe by N.E.R.D., Commas, I'm bumping Commas right now by Future, and uh, this might throw you off, uh, Come Together by The Beatles. Fire, fire. My first encounter with Playboy happened when I was about four or five years old. My older brother, Daryl, we slept in the same rooms. Hashtag race car waterbeds. You know, we are, we're boys, you know? And he tells me, his younger brother, go ask mom and dad if they could get us the Playboy channel. I'm four or five, I don't know what that is. I'm down, let's do it. So I go, I yell to my parents, can we order the Playboy channel? I see their face, I hear my brother die laughing, so I'll run in the room, get under the blankets, because I'm safe under the blankets. Dad comes in, gives us the talk, you know, the talk about, you know, when you get older and, you know, how it's, it's not appropriate just yet, and, you know. My father, the way he would discipline would be, he would make sure that do you feel dumb? Do you feel that you did something bad, you know? If I were to get a bad report card, you know, do you, do you not do you not get science? Do you just not get the earth? You don't get how it works? You know, I see you got a B in PE. Like, you know, he would do things that just make you just feel small as you can. And now go make yourself better the next day, you know? It hurts more when they're disappointed and he would just give you that like, come on, man. What the fuck? Yeah, it was just mind game. Oh, Ice Cube could yell. But you know, it's just uh, when, after a while you start understanding, you know, what he want. And you know, he's a simple man. Just his, his BS meter may be a little lower than others, but you know, everybody has their boiling points. Regular dude, he likes to laugh more though. <laughs> no, I, I smile too damn much to get that mad, but I, I do a, an excellent version of it in Straight Outta Compton. I meet these incredible people and hear about their stories, and the clothing they wear is a cultural adaptation to the environment in which they were born into. So I find a lot of homemade custom clothing, and then movies and clothing designers seek me out to come to find something that they haven't seen before. <laughs>